Soyuz TMA-10 was a human spaceflight mission using a Soyuz TMA spacecraft to transport personnel to and from the International Space Station ISS. The mission began at 17 hours 31 minutes and 9 seconds Coordinated Universal Time on April 7, 2007 when the spacecraft was launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome by a Soyuz FG launch vehicle. Soyuz TMA-10 brought to the station two members of ISS Expedition 15 crew, along with one spaceflight participant. It remained at the space station as an escape craft until it was replaced by Soyuz TMA-11 in October 2007. Topic: Crew. Topic: Backup crew. Topic: Docking with ISS. Dock to ISS, 9 April 2007, 1910 Coordinated Universal Time, to Nadir Port of Zaria. Undocking from ISS, 27 September 2007, 2020 Coordinated Universal Time, from Nadir Port of Zaria. Docking to ISS, 27 September 2007, 2047 Coordinated Universal Time, to aft Port of Zvezda. Undocking from ISS, 21 October 2007, 714 Coordinated Universal Time, from aft Port of Zvezda. Topic. Mission highlights Soyuz TMA-10 docked to the ISS on April 9, 2007 at 22.10 Coordinated Universal Time, following two days of free flight. Its two Russian crew members remained on the station until the spacecraft's return to Earth in October 2007. Spaceflight participant Charles Simony returned to Earth aboard Soyuz TMA-9 on April 21, following 11 days of ISS handover operations. TMA-10 undocked from the ISS at 7:14 Coordinated Universal Time on October 21, and deorbit occurred at 9:47. During atmospheric re-entry, the spacecraft transitioned to a ballistic re-entry, resulting in it landing west of Arkhalik, approximately 340 kilometers (210 miles) northwest of the intended Kazakhstan landing site. The trajectory was reported by the crew as soon as they came out of the communications blackout caused by plasma surrounding the spacecraft. A ballistic trajectory is a backup re-entry mode that takes over if something fails during normal re-entry. A commission of inquiry determined that the ballistic re-entry was caused by damage to a cable in the spacecraft's control panel, which connected to the control panel with the Soyuz descent equipment. Landing occurred at 10:36 Greenwich Mean Time. A ballistic trajectory entry had happened previously with the Soyuz TMA-1 mission that returned Expedition 6. The information about the failure of a connector in service panel was faulty. In actuality, the service module POW had failed to separate from the re-entry module SA, and the ship had entered the atmosphere with the opposite orientation. Explosive bolts in connection struts between the re-entry module and the service module had failed to explode. The heat had melted the failed struts and the re-entry module had separated from the service module. The change trajectory of the ship had caused the switch to a ballistic emergency landing. The same situation had happened during the Soyuz 5 mission in 1969. The Soyuz re-entry module was, and still is, protected on all sides with thermal insulation, so the struts melted before the crew entry hatch was damaged or destroyed, thus saving the crew. The Russians kept the failure of the Soyuz TMA-10 a secret until it happened again on the Soyuz TMA-11 with a NASA astronaut on board. This infuriated NASA the Commission of Inquiry had lied to them and this led to further investigation as well as special EVA activity on the ISS to check the docked Soyuz TMA-12 and its explosive bolts in their connection struts. <laughs> 